Hey, welcome back to the Forever Winter. I'm Mac, and uh, I have a couple objectives for this video. Um, first of all, I just want to be more aggressive. Uh, I think I put this into the video title. Definitely be more aggressive. I've proven to myself that I can be patient and I can sneak around for very long periods of time before engaging enemies or not engaging enemies at all. But uh, now that uh, I've got some funds, got some money in the bank, uh, I, I figure I can invest in better equipment and start taking the fight to my enemies out on the battlefield. Um, which I have been doing. Uh, if you watch any of my streams in the last week, you'll see that I spent some time in the mech trenches. I got to worked over. Um, those are not good runs, but those are decent learning experiences. But uh, I was still using just like weapons I had just picked up on the field or just like the cheaper guns available from the vendors back at the innards. So um, it's twofold. Invest myself a little bit more, uh, get more aggressive. And I also want to practice uh, a different map. I want to practice Elephant Mausoleum. I don't think I've put any um, content out of me playing that map. And I recently watched uh, a video from, let me see if I got his name right, Tactical Fried Rice. Uh, YouTuber, also plays for Winter, uh, capital G gamer in, in my opinion, very, very much, uh, uh, very advanced, very much an advanced player in, in this game already. And uh, he was outlining uh, a farming run for big XP and big monetary gain uh, by running uh, a route in the Elephant Mausoleum. I have tried that route a few times already uh, just to feel things out. Now the main difference here is that uh, he used Bagman for that run since the Bagman can acquire the the rack rig and um, can hold a lot of stuff, got a lot of hit points can go in with some heavy weaponry um, despite being very slow so um, I'm not going to be using Bagman uh, today uh, I've not put any levels into Bagman at all I'm still working away at Shaman but what I will do is I'll see if I can complete some quests and then if I complete some quests I'll put the quest XP towards Bagman so I'm still kind of passively uh, leveling Bagman as I focus more of my atten attention on Shaman. And who knows, maybe I'll just like uh, give Bagman a, a spin. I, I have played him a few times already on, on this map, but um, yeah. Uh, who's to say? Who's to say? Maybe I'll just uh, play with both characters today. So, looking over my quests, um, I do have Retrieve Barrel. I'm not even sure what this is. This this is the fourth quest that popped up on my list as an active quest. And there's some kind of exploiter bug that allows you to get a fourth quest. I don't know. I don't even know how that happened. But um, these are not necessarily um, elephant mausoleum specific quests. Are there any elephant mausoleum? There's one here. Help civilian escape. There's one for Ash and Mesa. These are retrieving components from stronger enemies. European, European drone components. This one's just pretty standard. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to be fighting drones or waiting for drones to get killed. Retrieve targeting systems from Elephant Mods. Okay, here's something. I don't know if there's a specific um, area where, where I need to go to get this, but maybe I will ditch one of my current um, quests for that one. You know what? I'm going to ditch this explosive barrel one. Maybe it's easy to do, maybe not, but uh, I already have a jump equipment. And I'm not hurting for faction rating or, or water necessarily, so I'm gonna abandon that one. And I'm gonna take on the uh, retrieve target system from Ele Elephant Mausoleum. Maybe I'll stumble upon this back. Ah, it doesn't let me. 
Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to ditch this. No, the cyber components. I'm gonna abandon that one. And uh, what's it again? In the crosshairs? Yeah. Okay. Those Euro pins are so predictable. They have let slip to the world that they are deploying their new targeting system in Elephant Mausoleum. Get over there and grab one of those systems for us. Good hunting. I like that guy. I like that quest giver. He's uh, straight to the point. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I feel like I need to do a quick warm up before I get serious. Whenever, whenever I fire up this game for the first time uh, each day. So what I want to do is I want to actually get comfortable with my firearms. And uh, perhaps you already know about this, perhaps not, but uh, I've been doing a lot of um, milk runs at the Scrapyard Nexus. And uh, thanks to a viewer from a few days ago who came onto my stream, he uh, recommended that I could get easy uh, combat XP at the Scrapyard Nexus simply by triggering the timed extraction right at the start and, and staying there and fighting off the cyborgs that come out. Uh, he suggested that you can just melee them and it's easy to melee them, which is true. You don't have to expend any ammo, but for myself, I like to just use my guns when fighting the uh, cyborgs. It's a, li a little less risky. And ammo is not super expensive anyway, at least the shotgun ammo isn't. So that's what I've been doing for the last couple of days. And I would like to keep practicing with, hey look, the AA-12. I've heard great things about this game, uh, about this gun, pardon me. And I bought it yesterday. Yeah, I bought it yesterday and I shot a few rounds and it seems pretty good. It's an automatic shotgun, as you can see. And it packs a punch. And even with no uh, upgrades or attachments, it seems pretty solid. Uh, people seem to like it, so. I have seen this in action from a few YouTubers and I, have, I was quite impressed. But I love that, I also have the S12. That's the one. Oh, it's at level five already, how about that? I had no idea my S12 had uh, leveled up some. But <laughs> I don't have any attachments for it, really. Yeah, S12 is, S12 is good. It's semi-automatic. I still haven't used this SA-58. I have no idea if it's good or not, but maybe I shall take it out in one of my runs today. We'll see. But for now, I'm just going to practice with the AA-12. And for my backup gun, I guess I'll... I don't need another shotgun as backup, but I'll just put... I'll put the stupid uh, surplus rifle as my backup gun. And uh, ammo-wise, I am get, getting a bit short on shotgun shells. So the plan is that if I load into the daytime variant of Scrub Your Nexus, I will do my milk run. I'll go out into uh, the map, pick up the water or the large lockbox or the explosives, get the ammo or medical supplies, come back uh, as tip as usual, and just finish off the uh, finish off the run. I may even just uh, do do a, do a fight, do the time time extraction and just fight everyone at the end. But if I get the other variants, I don't like doing the milk runs on the other variants, so I would just stay at the spawn and uh, trigger the time extraction and just fight everyone for some uh, easy XP and some relatively like decent loot sometimes. Anyway, if you don't know about this, I'll, I'll demonstrate it real quickly right now. Thanks to Mirror Monster from the live stream a few nights ago for uh, su suggesting this to me. I think everything's good. I just, I just need shotgun shells. I could probably bring like a couple small stems just in case things get a little hairy. But they shouldn't. So what do we get? What do we get? Oh, okay, so we got the nighttime variant. Okay, so it does work. A new opportunity. 
I was, uh, I thought this was a bug. F the switching to over the shoulder view with the controller, I thought it was, I thought it was broken. But you have to hold that, you have to hold down the D-pad. You have to hold them down on the D-pad to get to, oh, okay. Anyway, they can just discard that bug report then. I, I was being uh, silly, but it should just work when you tap it, in my opinion. Okay, third person view is actually pretty cool. The over the shoulder. Uh, they just need to fix the crosshairs. And uh, they don't need to pull the FOV in so tight when you activate it. It should just be like this, but when you aim down sights, it looks like this, or even this if you need to. Anyway, that's just my gripe. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I mean, I should just be telling Fun Dog. <laughs> so maybe the plan here is just gonna activate it. I'm not gonna do my run. I'm just gonna fight off the uh, zombies and then I'm gonna leave. No, I just blast them from here. Hey, look at the party. I don't like the crawlers because they just they just kind of appear. They don't really have a climbing animation. Ooh, son of a bitch. up okay oh, yeah. pick up some loot it's hard to pick up loot because I'm I'm so close to the extraction I hope see the bastards at home <sighs> appreciate this. it's bugged where I can't pick up the loot even though I have the loot command highlighted so I, I actually left I just got XP from that run which was really bad let's do it one more time I hope I get the daytime variant so I can at least run, run in and get some loot easily. Easily is the is the key word here. Go back, check my loadout again. I need to just re up on my shoddy shells. Sure, get a couple of these and then go. Ugh, it's another uh, Our deeds are variant. Well, hurry up, guys! Come on, I have all day here. <laughs> Don't have all day. You know where I am. You know where I am. It's feeding time. Come and get me. I shot him in the kneecaps, but it's okay. Just exercise some trigger discipline here. I kill them all when they're before they even get up to me onto the platform, so I can actually loot properly. Just have to make sure I don't get jumped from behind. No one's coming. Oh, somebody's coming now. We got a second round. Oh, I thought somebody's coming. Oh, there we go. We'll do a second round, these boys. There's no crawlers. That that helps because the crawlers tend to uh, teleport. Straggler here. Come down to meet you. It's a good gun. It's, really, it's got punch. That's what I need. I've been using too many guns that are weak 
on a, on a per bullet standpoint. Oh shit, there's more. Are they coming or not? I, they kind of freaked me out because I. It's like they totally de aggroed. Um, that's, that's really weird. It's fine though, I'm leaving. Make your peace before the next journey. Hey, the experience is good. And the loot is a lot better. It's not, they, ha they tend to carry a lot of uh, booze on them, these cyborgs, for whatever reason. Hey, but I got, oh my goodness. Cyborg components, I think I just discarded that quest. Good stuff, huh? I'm not gonna go through the motions of just like because, it's funny because I constantly um, go back to that map and just kill the cyborgs the um, trust meter lowers ever so slightly with Aramaki so I always have to go back and make sure to sell back to him to build the trust again at least that's, that's what I think is happening um, so you can see, I'm not, I'm not hard up for cash. I'm not completely rich, but I, I'm, I'm doing okay for money. But uh, just to move things along in this video, I'm not gonna uh, just sell everything one by one. I'm just going to go back in. I'm gonna do this run one more time. I'll hopefully just get that daytime variant, just so I feel safe running in to loot some water or lock boxes or what have you. Actually for um, my surplus rifle, I'm actually gonna pick up some of the free ammo. Does this guy carry it or I have to go to Bunko? Pardon me. Bunko, Bunko, Bunko. I have to get it from Bunko. Yeah, it, is, it has to say parentheses at the end, but free. Let's just get, like, a, get one. I think you can only buy one stack anyway. Because it's free. You can't just uh, abuse it. 545. Where's the, um, the free stuff they got? 545, it's not here. It's weird, eh? Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, yeah, it's... It's basically the same, except there's no yellow on this side. There we go. And then uh, I'll get a couple of these, and then we're good. Ready room. One more, once more into the scrapyard nexus. Once more. After this, I'll head to uh, Elephant Mausoleum. I'll, I'll get uh, stocked up and uh, armed to the teeth first. Ah, they still, they still not give it to me. Feeding time. Oh, they're all runners. Get up here. <laughs> Hello. This so I, I, I can loot a little bit without teleporting out of here by accident. We're still safe. Oh. Oh, 
Oh cool, I can loot. Ah, oh, let's get out of here. Underground. As easy as that. What I'm also doing is like, I'm padding out my resources in the for the inevitable, which is me dying on my serious, quote unquote, serious run and losing my precious uh, AA-12, which is not cheap. It's like a 30,000 credit uh, shotgun. Okay, let's let's get equipped properly for my elephant mau mausoleum run. So, uh, tactical Fred Rice had, um, recommend this run that starts in the ruins. Watch, I'm just gonna get lost. Uh, I know the first big checkpoint, but then after doing the big loot and make my way to the exit, that's where it gets a little fuzzy for me. I, I will likely get lost, but that's okay. So we'll stick with Shaman. And I will use my AA-12 for backup. I'm going to use SVD. I think we'll use the SVD. Gotta make sure this guy has a silencer on it. That would help. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's fine. SVD 4, equip 2. Here we go. Now let's get the ammo going. I think 4 packs of shells should be enough. And then for the SVD, this takes the uh, 54R, right? Pardon me, I have an itchy, itchy wrist. Okay. 54R, 54R. Let's narrow it down a little bit. Fifty four R. I had trouble. Yeah, three. Let's stick with three, because we need room for health. Then go in with three standard first aid kits and uh, three stims. This is do that for now. I don't want to go crazy and over invest. I'm not I'm not going in with complete crap here. Rig wise, I'm just gonna stay with my medium equipment gun runner. I know the 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 farming run is optimal if you use bagman with the rack. But I'm not ready to buy the rack just yet. I just want to make a little bit more money before I buy the rack, which is a half basically half million credits. So I'll work up to that. Even though I got I got money to spare, I just want to build a bigger nest egg for myself before I get the before I get the rack. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's do this. Entry point is the ruins. Don't need to buy anything. Shaman. Got my guns. Got my ammo and health. Ready to go? Ready to rock and roll. I have still not um, LFG'd uh, this game at all. I've, I'm I'm just not feeling playing with complete strangers, and I feel like I'll either be just dragged around by people who just know the game a lot better than I do, which is fine. But I kind of like just like to learn things on my own at my own pace. So if I do that, oh, I don't have a scope. Oh my god! I never mind. I gotta go for a third person over the shoulder shooting. Let's see how that goes. 
So this part is simple. Just pretty much just head straight, find the trench. I think it's very quiet actually. I think it's a variation of the map that uh, I've never played before. So heading up to this doorway is probably a good idea to crouch. If I need to retreat, I can go back up there that way. Fighting. Must take a moment to appreciate the good All things. All the guys are fighting over there. It's very restrictive in this view but gold from the soft white underbelly okay from here I'm just gonna leave oh. I'll grab the weapon mods and I'll leave grab it grab it Here. I think I'm making my way to the exit. I don't have a lot of space in my pack, so. I believe he went this way. He kind of stayed above the trench for a bit. Across the bridge. And from here. Fell down somewhere. Nothing going the wrong way. But we go through here. No, I feel like I'm going the wrong way. How did it? Okay, he did drop down this way. Yep, yep, yep. Heading towards this burning monument. Burning mech. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's gotta get away from the drone. I hear a mech. Yeah, there is an exit this way. He didn't take this exit, he took a different exit, but there's supposed to be a dog. Oh shoot, there's soldiers. Who are these guys? Just standard soldiers. Okay. I th a couple dozen more in the ground. It won't make a difference. Oh shoot! What more are you open? Okay, this is too many of them. I definitely don't want to get in a fight. There's so many. There's too many soldiers. Means it's going uh, psycho. Makes me a little nervous. I hope those guys don't come back. Like just. It's a turret. Yeah, it's a turret. The mech's coming back. Soldiers are back too. Additional units approaching. This is a very bad situation. They were getting, they were cluing into my uh, presence. So I'm getting the hell out of there.
Okay, so it's actually not too bad. Coming this way. Am I being followed? Just gonna make sure. Oh yeah, come to the uh, extraction. If this home free, then that's fine. I'm gonna push my luck a little bit because I did see some loot that I could pick up before going up the stairs here. Yeah, they lost, they lost my scent, I think. Oh, no, it's still after me. <laughs> Be aggressive, I said. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's not push my, let's not push my luck. But uh, if I can, yeah, basically this extraction is not too bad. It's not too far off from. Uh, this is a good life. It's actually not too far off from the uh, entry point. Considering the uh, the low amount of opposition that's on the map, the, I mean the most guys was near the end, really. So loot-wise, a bunch of attachments. Got some medical stuff, which is good. Got some uh, pure uh, resell, um, what do you call it? Just like junk to resell. Got a lock, lock box and water, like not too bad. For the time spent, seven minutes. Not great, but not bad. Let me just, I like, I always like dumping the water. There we go. So something pretty on 46 days of water, not, not too shabby. All right, let's do that one more time. And I don't think I'll change up my flow too much on this. Next outing, I'm gonna sell the block box. Valuable data cache tucked away for safekeeping. Doesn't say it's good for selling. Telemetry, I'll sell. Dossier, I'll sell. Seminary tool set, I'll sell. Smuggled organs, I always sell. Jumper cables as well. Okay. Getting close, getting close to a million. Not too far off. Character-wise, I still got, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm almost, almost a little prestige 10. Won't take, won't take long at all. But uh, loadout-wise, I'm gonna go pretty much the same way, I think. Three of those, four of those, three of those, three of those. That's it. I did the same run. May not get as lucky this time, but I just wanna, I'll test myself, see if I can survive. I've been, wallowing in my comfort zone for, for too long. I, I think I've been in my comfort zone for a full week, almost. And my progress has definitely, has definitely slowed down, so. The surface provides options. Yeah. I have no idea uh, what targeting system they're talking about in the Elephant Mausoleum, but it's probably not anywhere I'm going in my current route. Oh, cyborgs over there. 
being dealt with. I changed my uh, standard med kit instead of the small one. That would help. Okay, let's see who we got in the tunnel in the bunker this time. Fighting again. Get that water. Peace through discovery. I always think the guy's gonna say peace in the Middle East. The mech I definitely want to avoid. Lock, lock box, and I think I'll be on my way. To appreciate the good things. Um. Yeah. So from here, I just follow the the, the bridge. And then um, all the smoldering mech in the distance. I'm trying to find the easiest way, the quickest way to get there is probably hang a right. Is he all alone? That was weird. Yeah, I was gonna shoot him with the suppressed SVD, but, uh, but uh, in over shoulder mode, I don't get precise crosshairs at all. I, I wanted to do a headshot. Okay, get a mosey. I'm gonna see if I can sneak in the, another way. Like, like from this side, right? I honestly cannot see shit with this view. Here we go. And you don't have to go through the big wide entrance where all the mech and soldiers are coming out of. There's the extraction. Yeah, this is a way better route instead of heading down the ramp. I just have to drop down. I don't think I'll die. I may get slightly hurt. Will I die? It's a, it's a bit of a fall, actually. Oh, oh it does hurt quite a bit. Just run for it. Sometimes the door is closed there. Nobody followed me. Okay, so we now have um, a pretty good taste of what this run could look like. It could be a lot more lucrative. Uh, as I said, with the bagman using the bigger rig. Still alive. For now. 
and I think uh, it's gonna be on me to explore other routes through this map from the other entry points. One kill, but decent experience because of all the looting I did. Okay, so I did promise I was going to be more aggressive, and I really wasn't that much more aggressive. If you don't count the uh, the super short runs I did on Scrapyard Nexus, I almost think that those don't really count because I put myself in a very safe situation, very predictable uh, scenario for me to just uh, shoot my way through. <laughs> Next time, though. Next time, I think uh, I'm going to take more of the training wheels off. I'll go back to the Elephant Mausoleum, and I'm going to try a different entry point and uh, see what I can learn. Maybe by then, I'll uh, unlock or I'll purchase the rack, and I'll use Bagman a bit more. And I'll take Bagman into that run, see if I can get a whole lot more loot. Uh, because I can carry, like, four large items with the rack. And... Um, Small items, I think it's a uh, larger capacity even still for small items. So it's a, it's a good it's a good purchase, but it's expensive. But that's going to be it for me today. I just intended this to be quite short, a little bit of a jam session on a, on a Sunday afternoon here. Thank you very much for watching. If you uh, enjoyed yourself, uh, please drop a like. Consider subscribing if, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, if this video pleases you and you like what you see on the channel. And uh, do leave a comment, as I always love reading your comments. And uh, yeah, take care all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.